Welcome everyone to the four this afternoon. I'm Alex Savage and I'm Heather Holmes and we are starting off this afternoon with that breaking news taking place in Lake County where evacuations are underway while crews attack yet another fast moving fire. This is called the cash fire and it is burning near the communities of Clear Lake and Lower Lake. It has grown to about 75 acres so far and there are reports that some structures have been destroyed at a mobile home park. Gal Fire says it is assisting Lake County Fire Protection District to handle this fire under red flag conditions. Evacuations have been ordered in the areas of both Clear Lake and Lower Lake. I want to show you now a look at where this latest fire is burning. Officials say the cash fire started near Cash Street and 6th Avenue, just east of the town of Clear Lake and north of Lower Lake. The Lake County Sheriff has set up an evacuation center at Kelseyville High School, which is on the west side of the lake. Yeah, here's another look at what things look like on the ground today. Santa Rosa Press Democrat photojournalist Kent Porter is in Clear Lake and Lower Lake. It has been tweeting video this afternoon, and this was the scene on Dam Road. You can see what appears to be a building engulfed in flames there. Porter says about 25 to 30 buildings are impacted along Dam Road, but the extent of the damage uh, uh, not quite clear yet, although the sheriff just a short time ago in Lake County said he believed 15 buildings had burned. Now here's another video from social media today. Coral Lee took this video on Bryant Street in Lower Lake and then put it on Facebook. And you can see those firefighting helicopters overhead and the thick black smoke from this fire. She said that she could hear propane tanks exploding in that fire as well. And here's a look now at the evacuation zones to the south of the fire. And you can see the areas in red. That is where evacuation orders are. We'll get you that map in just a moment. There are also some areas in yellow, which are just evacuation warnings. So again, a, a big portion of that area in that evacuation area um, in, in the red. And then also you have other communities that are just in that, yellow, that warning area. Now we have that map up where you can see just the extent of the fire and all of those affected by this fast moving blaze. Yeah, and right now to get some of the latest details on the situation with the firefight on the ground, we're joined on the phone now by State Senator Mike McGuire. Uh, Senator McGuire, good to have you on. We appreciate you taking the time. I, I know you're extremely busy here. Uh, do you get the sense? We, we know Cal Fire's come in with the air attack. They've been doing drops on this fire in Lower Lake. Do you get the sense that they, they might be getting a handle on this fire? Yeah, good afternoon, Alex. Good afternoon, Heather. We do believe that we're starting to see the upper hand uh, on this fire. Uh, so currently, Cal Fire is holding a few air tankers in the sky around Lake County. Uh, look, let me be candid. The traditional firefighting operations that we could always count on here in California simply don't work this year. The conditions on the ground, the vegetation are so dry. So we need to be able to give uh, extra focus on containing these fires. So where we're at right now at 4 o'clock, uh, we believe that forward progress for the time being, has been stopped. That said, we're still at 0% containment. Uh, as the sheriff said, we have confirmed structures lost. Uh, the Cash Creek Mobile Home Estates, a mobile home community, uh, is where we're going to see a lot of the loss. Uh, and this moved so incredibly quickly, and there was great concern because a lot of the folks, for example, in the Cash Creek Mobile Home Estates, uh, they're elderly, uh, and there was extra focus on trying to get folks out as quickly as possible. The other good news is that Lower Lake High School, Lower Lake Elementary uh, were evacuated. Uh, we do not have any injuries, uh, and obviously deep concern of having to evacuate those two school sites quickly, but we do have confirmed structure loss on the ground. Uh, the state has rolled in multiple resources from surrounding counties to be able to help fully contain this blaze here uh, in the coming hours. State Senator, obviously you, you represent this area. Th this is home, Lake County. Talk about here you are uh, another day. We're, we're in August and yet another fast moving fire. Uh, this is a county that has endured so much already. Heather, you have been on the ground in Lake County over the past many years and there is no other county in the state of California that have been hit as hard as the county of Lake. Over two thirds, over two thirds of Lake County's land mass has burned uh, since 2015. The largest fire, the Valley Fire, was absolutely devastating in Southern Lake County. And in fact, it was just three years ago that Lower Lake, 
uh, which is just south of where the fire currently is, a large fire burned into the community. Um, Lake County has suffered tremendously, and we have yet to gain back the housing stock that was last in the Valley Fire in late 2015. In fact, uh, early next year, we're about to break ground just a mile away from this fire on a 100-unit affordable housing complex that will uh, rehouse families that lost their homes in 2015. It's devastating. There's a lot of trauma, a lot of PTSD. And I got to tell you, uh, that said, the residents of Lake County rally when their neighbors uh, are in need. And uh, Sheriff Martin, all the firefighters on the ground, they responded quickly. And that's the, the whole focus right now. We got to jump on these fires quickly with both ground and air attack. And especially in a year like this where it's so dry, mm -hmm. if we don't get on these fires quickly and uh, with sustained heavy resources, uh, they're going to get out of hand. You know, uh, Senator, the sheriff just moments ago was was talking to us about the, the chaotic scenes on, on some of the busy highways there as folks tried to evacuate the area. I, you know, on some level, that must be encouraging to you, the fact that, that people are, are heeding these evacuation mm -hmm. warnings when, when they're being put in place and, and, and getting out when authorities are asking them to do that. You're absolutely right. And, in fact, uh, thinking back, I was up there during uh, the Valley Fire that night, um, and... Uh, it was incredibly chaotic, but what we didn't have and what we have now is a comprehensive uh, emergency alert system in place, new evacuation maps that are now have, that have now been deployed. Uh, and candidly, the local authorities, whether it's Lake County or the city and county of San Francisco, they don't wait for a, a fire to approach. What you're seeing across the state now, our communities are being evacuated uh, 24 to 48 hours in advance uh, of anticipated impact of a fire. And that's what is so critical. Uh, whether it's in Lake County or down in Los Angeles, you're seeing evacuations happen earlier. Yes, it's an incredible inconvenience, but we have to learn from the lessons of the past. And that's happening. Uh, evacuations were happening too late. We got to get out in front of this. And really, there is no one better in this state who has been through so much than Sheriff Martin. And he's really been leading the state from a rural com community on early warnings and getting folks out quickly uh, way of, in advance of a fire. Now, this is a little different. We had the fire start inside the city, uh, which then uh, grew here to about 75 acres. So in this particular case, Senator, there was no advance warning, meaning it was not, this was not a fire that was on uh, officials' map, that it was approaching a community. It started in the community, so it really was a, a desperate situation to get out of the way. It really was. And in fact, uh, we, uh, we knew that there were some folks, uh, some elderly folks who were behind the fire lines. There were uh, some kids, young children who were being uh, babysat were behind the fire lines. What happened in this specific instance is the, the ignition site was within the community, which then immediately caught brush on fire. And there was uh, 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts, which then spread the fire quickly. Um, typically what we've seen in Lake County is a fire starts in an unincorporated and more isolated area where there are not a lot of structures mm -hmm. and it burns into the communities. This is the exact opposite. It started in the community and then started to spread through uh, more rural neighborhoods and into mobile home uh, estates. And it's devastating. And um, our heart goes out to those who lost their homes. We will see folks who have lost their homes in this. And uh, we know that we've also lost livestock because this fire moves so quickly. Yeah, uh, and you talked about the Cash Creek mobile home community being directly impacted yeah. by this fire here today. Uh, finally, Senator, before we let you go, can you talk about the, the, the help that is going to be available to folks directly impacted by the fire or folks who were forced to leave their homes this afternoon? I know that uh, evacuations that are still set up uh, at Kelseyville High School, right? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, and the state is ready to assist with anyone who may need ongoing assistance. What's going to happen now is that we're going to be working with uh, the state office of, office of emergency services, along with the Lake County Emergency Management Agency to be able to provide a uh, temporary shelter that will be in an emergency evacuation shelter, most likely for tonight 
and or we'd like to be able to get some folks into hotels and get them vouchers. From there, if you lost your home, uh, we will be connecting them with state service, meaning uh, with the Department of Insurance to ensure that they get the insurance that they're deserved. Uh, and if we have to be able to set up uh, longer term uh, housing, rental housing, the state will come in and work with the county to ensure that those um, those units are secured longer term to make sure that folks have a place to live. And that's where our focus is going to be here in the coming days and weeks. Yeah, we wish everybody in that community the best here uh, as the recovery will get underway here in the days and weeks ahead. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate you taking a few minutes today. State Senator Mike McGuire, who represents Lake County. Thank you for doing it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. We have